Hello everyone, um, we are here today for a review of uh, the Switch Champ um, XLT, uh, one of the biggest. Um, there is the XAVT, but after that, it's all. Um, so this one is, of course, a 91 millimeters in length. Um, the thickness is here. 43 millimeters, which is really huge, and uh, the weight is uh, 246 grams, so a bit heavy. And we have um, 49 functions. Um, so the box is here, so it's the 1.6795 XLT. So in the box we have a user guide, uh, something about cyber tools, and this. Where we have all the tools uh, with their names. Etc. etc. So So we'll go through the tools. Um, I'm going to start here. We have the corkscrew, of course, with a tiny screwdriver, useful for glasses or stuff like that. Then we have here um, a wood knife. Uh, I don't know if it's the right name, but I call it like that. Um, we have, so the wood knife is um, really sharp at the end here. Uh, we have the hook to carry fins or stuff like that. We have a flathead screwdriver. A little flat screwdriver, and then we have the rimmer here. So as always, really sharp. Now on this side, I'm going to start here, and we have um, the small blade, the big blade. So, as usual, really sharp, really effective. Uh, then we have a file, uh, which is also a metal saw, um, a metal file, and we can also use it for the, 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 for the nails and uh, for cleaning your nails. We have the wood saw. Very, very good one too. We have the fisherman tool with a ruler in inch in centimeters, centimeters here, inch here. Uh, then we have um, the scissors. Victorinox scissors, really good, no problem. Then we have here the electrician blade. So for electricians, uh, we have a curved blade here. 
So they are really good too with a sharp. This one uh, this one is uh, interesting to open packages due to its uh, shape. Then we have a, a spatula. So we have a spatula. Uh, don't know what it's really for, but can be useful. We never know. Then we have a screwdriver with interchangeable uh, bits. We have one in here and we have a bit bits holder with two on each one, so inter interchangeable. Here and here. So it's uh, this one. It's a Phillips screwdriver with uh, with a, a little and a bigger. Here yeah, it's a Philips screwdriver too. And on the other side we have a flat head screwdriver. And here it's a star shaped head on both sides of two different sizes. And this one, it's a, a star-shaped head too. Uh, so that's it. Then we have the pliers. Really good for precision work too. Uh, magnifying glass, of course. Then we have a um, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, really interesting. But, uh, I'll say something after, but... Uh, we have finally a bottle opener, can opener, a little flat screw head uh, driver. A little flat head screwdriver here and a bigger flat head screwdriver here with um, the wire stripper here. Um, that's it. And finally, we have, like always, the tweezers. And we have the toothpick. And we have the pen, uh, like on the Switch Champ, so a really good one. Um, yes, there is the trick, you can slide the pen here, close the hook and it's easier for writing. But I already showed that with the Switch Champ, I think. Um, so, it's a really good knife, it's, uh, you have really almost all the tools you could uh, need, uh, but of course it's a bit heavy, uh, it's really thick uh, to put in your pocket, but uh, most people would say, no, nah, it's too big, uh, can't, can't carry that. Uh, I prefer smaller world, I prefer something like uh, like the Antsman. So you see the the difference. It's really huge. But you have a lot of tools and uh, if you have um, you can put it in a bag or something and it's not that heavy. So I really like it. Um, I am 
I took it uh, for hiking and uh, it was really good. It was really good because uh, of all the tools, because um, um, apart from uh, the thickness, uh, we could think um, it's hard to use it, but in fact it's not. It's even um, more comfortable. It's really comfy. It's really, it's really good in hand uh, and easy to use. Uh, even if it's if it's uh, thick, so it's not a problem to use. The only problem could be, uh, yeah, the thickness and the weight. But um, it doesn't bother me, and uh, so for me it's a really good knife, really good knife. Uh, and uh, I used it, and I'll use it in the future because it's a good one. Even if it's thick and uh, uh, heavy. So uh, for the price here in Europe, it's um, uh, Victorinox. It's two hundred sixty-seven euros. So it's it's a big one. It's a big price. Uh, but I got it at um, one hundred eighty-four. So. A big reduction, and uh, well, and um, I think that's it. So I hope you you liked it. Um, maybe you'll consider uh, buying this. If you do consider buying it, uh, you can. It's really a good knife, even if it's yeah a bit a bit thick and uh, heavy, but it's a really good knife. If you're collecting um, uh, the Victorinox, of course, it's the one to have in your collection. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel, uh, to leave a thumbs up, and uh, see you next time. Calm before the storm Things aren't